So this little video, we're going to look at adding in the phase one habitat colors. Um, there's two that are available on the drive. There is one that I've made, which is the one that I tend to use. Um, and there is also one which is by, I think it's the Sean Lewis one, um, NRW's one as well. Um, I haven't added that one in. It's a little bit harder to find um, just because I'm trying to get everybody to standardize. Um, yeah, and I'm using the one that I've made just because I've made changes that I find look better, um, especially when exported. So I'm going to show you how to use mine. If you want to use the other one, uh, go for it, but it will then look different than my maps. Not that that matters too much. Choose what you want. Um, I'm going to show you how to use mine. Anyway, we've got our QGIS templates folder that we added in a previous video. It's here in our, in our documents. Um, and in that, are a couple other folders. So here we've got the, these are the template files that we used before. We've also got this one, phase one symbols and phase one.gpkg, which stands for geo package. We'll talk about that later. For now, we're looking at this one here, the phase one symbols. So in QGIS, we're going to go up here to settings and then to style manager. And these are all the styles that are in QGIS by default. So these are the ones that come with QGIS. Um, some of them look a bit weird. I don't know what's happened to that one. But anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to bring ours in. So down here, import, export, you're going to go import items. And there you're going to go browse. And you're going to find where those are saved. So QGIS templates, phase one symbols, and open. And there they all are. And all their colorful glory. And we're just going to select all. And we're going to go import. Um, I double categorize one or two um, so this will pop up don't worry about it if you press yes to all it's all fine there we go so this is what I'm talking about with me double categorizing it I've got one called phase one and one called phase one symbols this is why it showed that message um, for that I apologize um, but I haven't figured out how to undo that so it is how it is and they should be the same in each. No idea. Anyway, here are all of the different colors now. And we can add those to our, um, to our layers. So if I just create a very temporary, if I create a very temporary layer, create layer, scratch layer. So a scratch layer is just like a, like a notepad. You can just scroll stuff on. Um, and then it's just deleted when you uh, when you close the project. Um, so I'm just going to create a random empty blank polygon. Create some stuff. And just to show you, so these are the default ones. If we press the little cross here, it'll bring everything in. And there's all of the colors that are with QGIS, including the phase ones, which are at the top here. So we'll call that, that one there, Mixed Plantation Woodland. That's a fun one. There we go. So that's how you add them. Uh, if I just add another temporary scratch layer, we'll do one for lines. And you'll see that it's the same. That's the wrong button. There we go, it's our lines. There's not too many of these, so there's quite a small list. Um, well, we'll call it scattered broadleaf. There we go. Do, 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 do. Um, and then the points works works exactly the same. I won't show you that because it's obvious what it is. Uh, actually, I will because um, points in there is and it should be down at the bottom. There's one for target notes as well. So we've got our, our usual scattered scrub, scattered trees, all of that stuff. And at the bottom, we've got the target note symbol too. So that's in there as well. Lovely. So that's how you add the QGIS uh, phase one habitat style. Um, that'll be there on this particular computer every time you use it. Um, if you use a different computer, you may need to import it again, because um, I don't think it carries across. So there we go.